it's easy to walk around in the light and observe everything and how everything falls. But at night, things fall a little different. So whether you're looking at a liquor store or a library or a church or a bridge, it's all about perspective. And my perspective was even though it was dark, light always finds a way through. I'm Brian Summers and this is 1000 Words. Before we get into this story, I have to say this episode is brought to you by SumsBrand.com, my online store for original art, graphic tees, and weekly poster drops. SumsBrand.com. So this story comes from a dark place. Well, aesthetically. So I was taking pictures on the subway heavy when I first moved to New York, but transitioning out of that, I was trying to come out of the subway but I was still shooting similar subject matter. I found myself capturing scenes where people should be, for instance, on the train but my favorite shots were when the train was at the end of the line or when it was empty. So when I decided to make my transition out of the subway, I was still shooting dark shots where people were not. So I was living with my cousin and when it got late sometimes I couldn't sleep so I'd roll up a J walk around the neighborhood and I'd always have my camera on me so naturally if something caught my eye I'd take a picture of it going for a walk almost every night when I needed to clear my head or de-stress from work or hop on the bike who knows what I was going to get and eventually it added up and became a series this all started from walking around Brooklyn clearing my head between the hours of like 12 and 2 now this only lasted for a little while because sometimes I would catch myself taking pictures of certain scenes and I would forget that it is 12 o'clock at night and I might look suspicious walking around lurking after dark with a camera in my hand. Who knows, I might look like I'm scouting a neighborhood or something. But really I was just walking around. Whatever light captured my eye is what I captured. I might walk past the church and see a all a welcome sign or a scripture or something on like a illuminated sign at nighttime. It might look inviting and welcoming during the day because it's a religious sanctuary, but at nighttime, it has an eerie feeling to it. Where I lived in Brooklyn, you could easily walk a few blocks and end up in the Orthodox Jewish section of town and everything changed at that point. But when you're hungry and you have the munchies in the middle of the night, you don't care about what grocery store you're going into. You just want a snack. I even rode my bike into Manhattan one time across the Manhattan Bridge. That bridge is scary at nighttime. It's like a weird corner you ride up on to get on the bridge. It's like a couple of, I guess if it was sidewalk, it would be a, a block of darkness. And then you get into the light and you see, you know, the beautiful skyline at nighttime once you get on the bridge. But it's old. It looks like the Wiz. It looks like the Statue of Liberty. That rusty metal that's gone through oxidation it's that kind of creepy feel and to be honest that's what i think about when i think about new york grit the only available light at night is coming from street lights buildings that might still have a security light on front yards that might have a, a lamp in the front yard or if you're bold enough to have your windows open the light from your house all of that stuff is coming out into the street and spilling over. If you're a church, you might have a sign outside with a light. If you're a library, you might have a light inside for security purposes. If you're a bridge where people walk across daily, you're gonna have some type of illumination to help them get across safely. In hindsight, walking through these gentrified neighborhoods might have been a little risky. I say that because two blocks the other way towards the Bedford Avenue side, cops patrol two by two. And to see a young black dude walking around with a camera in his hand that could be mistaken as a gun, um, it could have been kind of risky thinking about it now. But I was just walking around, clearing my head, capturing photos. And I could easily show you this if you, you know, were willing to look at the camera. When I caught myself feeling like I was creeping around, I felt lurky. And I was thinking about New York slang. This is mad lucky. It was a handful of photos, but one thing that I gathered from it is that even in darkness, light 
will find a way. Shout out to Kay Carpenter for allowing us to team up on Halloween for his Freak Show concert with the Mad Lurky Art Show. We had the Freak Show on the right side of the building and the, uh, the art show was in the front part, which was really a artist studio. So that was pretty cool. It happened on Halloween and it just worked out perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment. If you loved it, hit subscribe. If you want to know when the next one comes out, hit that bell for alerts. For more photos like this, check out briansummers.com and follow me on Instagram at briansummers. Until next time, peace.